So before I start talking, if you guys have not seen my photos, please click the link below. It's a link to my Tumblr because that's the one site it hasn't been deleted off of. So yeah. <laughs> I'm a little unorganized right now because everything does not seem real, but I'm going to try to make sense here. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> hey guys, it's Aria. Um, something crazy is happening. <laughs> so I posted my photography final, hashtag signed by Trump, on social media maybe like two or three days ago. Um, on Facebook it got about 300 to 400 shares before it got deleted. Uh, Instagram it got like maybe 300 likes and then it got deleted for nudity. Um, I posted it like a few other times. It just kept getting deleted. So I went to Tumblr because we all know that Tumblr will not delete nudes. <laughs> Which I don't really think these even count as nudes. I don't know. Instantly on Tumblr it started getting reblogged and liked and I think right now it might have like 70... 80,000 notes which is so crazy because I was not expecting this many people to see it and even crazier I wasn't expecting this much support <laughs> I've never really cared about politics and I've never really understood politics I kind of still don't understand politics but I like to pretend I do every election I've been to Young to vote including this one my birthday was like two weeks after I believe. But this year, I really was interested in what was going on. I'm like in that stage of trying to figure out who I am, and so far all I really know is that I am a feminist. <laughs> so as my opinions started to grow and I started to learn a lot more about the world, um, I started sharing my opinions on Facebook. And we all know that Facebook gets a little crazy. I would post about, I guess, like feminist things. Um, posted about how I really don't like Trump. I posted about global warming, and no, Donald Trump, global warming is not a hoax. Hoax? Is that the word? Hoax? Yeah. It's really difficult to stay respectful and try to be nice to everybody when you feel so passionate about something. Um, I admit I was not always nice. I tried really hard to always be nice, but after being told some really horrible things. I made a status saying that if you voted for Trump to delete me because I was like tired of hearing about it, which I shouldn't have done because I do know some lovely Trump supporters. I did get tons of support on my statuses, but there was so many Facebook fights. <laughs> and some of the backlash that I got was crazy. Like at one point I had family members telling me that I needed Jesus, that I was just so disrespectful to my elders. I had really good friends tell me that I was a bitch and that I was too hot-headed and that no one cared about my opinions. I even had one of my closest friends call me a cunt and my boyfriend tell me that I was bullheaded and there's probably more examples but I've just kind of like blocked it all out because I just don't care. All these comments though made me realize that posting a Facebook status is not going to do anything. It's not going to change anyone's mind. It's nice to let my feelings out but there was no good coming out of it. But at the same time, I wanted not only my opinions to be heard, but the opinions of millions of other people who feel the same as me. When I told my professor I wanted to write quotes that Donald Trump has said about women on naked women bodies, he told me that by the time the final was due, it wouldn't be relevant anymore, it'd still be a cool project, but, but Hillary was obviously gonna win, so, However, I still really wanted to create these photos, even if they weren't relevant. Anywho, you fast forward a few weeks and Donald Trump won. When I saw that Donald Trump won, my heart shattered, not just because as a woman it disgusts me and gives me all these weird emotions that I don't know how to express. Um, my heart broke for literally everyone, for all the women, for all the LGBTQ community members, for the minorities, for every race that isn't white. After he won, I knew that these photos were going to mean something to at least one person. But yeah, I made the photos, I posted them, and thousands of people are seeing them and giving me positive feedback, some negative feedback, and it's just like, it's, it doesn't feel real. Now I don't know if these photos are going to change anyone's opinion on Donald Trump, but I do hope 
some people realize what kind of man he is. But honestly, so far, I think the most important thing that these photos have done for me is they've made me realize that I am not alone. I know that there are thousands and thousands of people and even millions of people who feel exactly the same way I feel. Although it's not a good feeling and I wish none of us had to feel like this, it's good that we're not alone. I'm sad that I even had to make this project. I was not expecting this, but I'm so thankful for all of your support. If there's one thing that I really want to say in this video, it's that don't let people silence you. Don't be afraid to speak out about what you believe in and what you're passionate about. I don't know how Donald Trump is going to be our president. I don't know why he's going to be our president, but that's the reality. And now more than ever, we need to come together because we are stronger together. If you guys do share my photos, uh, just please use the hashtag signed by Trump so I can see them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you guys next week. Bye.